Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. This is June 18th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update, and I'm here with Dan Bingham and David Young from Dan's Capital Markets Desk. Thank you for being here, gentlemen. Uh, Dan, let's start with you. It was a big week for the market in terms of listening to the Federal Reserve and its outlook on inflation after a lot of talk about uh, whether the economy is at risk of overheating. What did, uh, what did buyers hear? Sure. You know, coming into this meeting, I think there was a lot of um, uh, in, uh, a lot of anticipation as far as what direction the Fed was going to take it. And the immediate after effects of it um, were sort of muted. Um, but as market participants sort of uh, determined that the Fed actually did somewhat of an about face, 180 degree turn, some people are using um, as far as uh, focusing much more on the inflation aspect of it, as opposed to the unemployment and their uh, uh, prior communication of being patient. Um, so with that, we actually saw a pretty dramatic move in the treasury market um, where you, people referred to it as a, a turbo flattening. I like that term, um, uh, but you saw a, a pretty dramatic sell-off in the front end. Five-year rates were higher by uh, as much as 10 basis points. In the long end, we saw a 20 basis point rally. So pretty dramatic uh, tightening, um, which, is somewhat expected if you think the Fed is not going to be behind the uh, ball on inflation, but it's going to be more hawkish and in front of the inflation part of the curve, you'd expect to see higher short rates and lower long rates. And that's exactly what we've seen. And translating that into the muni market, the ratios between munis and treasuries were kind of volatile this week, but they really, at the end of the week, uh, when you take a step back, show uh, you know the relative stability and, and just this continuing strong investor interest in the tax exempt market. Yeah, and we saw a little bit of a reaction, surprisingly, uh, yesterday with a strong, very strong treasury market, we actually saw a, a higher municipal yield. So the ratio, something that we've been talking a lot about, had some pretty good adjustments this week, where five-year ratios are up to 52%. I emphasize up because it was actually as low as 40% uh, uh, earlier in the week. Um, but 10-year ratios at 65% and 30-year ratios are over 70%. It's still very low by historical um, uh, perspectives, but we, we did see an adjustment. Um, and you know the two ways that, that you, you could get that adjustment is uh, uh, rising municipal rates, which most people I think were expecting or hoping for, um, or rallying treasury rates. And we saw both of those this week. So a pretty, pretty big adjustment on the ratio side of things. And in the meantime, it was a, a busy week on both sides of the market. Uh, I think $12 billion of total volume, which is, is at the high end for a week uh, so far this year. Um, but also still, uh, Lipper reported almost $2 billion of inflows. So uh, you know, it, those, those new deals did seem to be meeting uh, a ready audience. So, uh, David, that uh, tees up your look on the new issue market. What uh, what did you see? Yeah, so you know, as you just mentioned, the media market had a ton of to, uh, a ton to digest this week. Um, we saw about like 15 billion in supply, which is quite the uptick from what we've seen this year. Um, so we at BAM have been very busy lately, uh, and this week was really nothing short of that. Um, BAM insured 540 million dollars in par, with the most notable deals being. Um, a $71 million Fort Bend County, Texas toll road led by JP Morgan, a $66 million Livonia Public Schools, Michigan deal, also led by JP Morgan, and a uh, $50 million Triway local school district in Ohio led by Steeple. And so looking ahead to next week, what, uh, what do you see on the calendar? Yeah, so uh, next week we're seeing about $11 billion in supply. So, um, you know, a little uh, downtick from uh, this huge week this week, um, but BAM's activity, uh, you know, we're estimating about 100, 150 million to start. Um, that's kind of led by RBC's $50 million Laredo sports venue sales tax in Texas and Cruz's $47 million Putnam Public Service District in West Virginia. Um, and of course, you know, the, the competitive market continues to kind of be fairly active. Uh, with about 2.1 billion on the calendar so far. Um, and of course, BAM will um, you know, be uh, active in submitting bids for uh, our underwriters and uh, issuers to benefit from. Great. So uh, we will see how uh, those transactions uh, play out and perform, uh, provide an update next week. Thanks for your time, guys. Thanks. Great.
Investing in America's infrastructure drives our country forward. Municipal bonds help strengthen America's backbone and connect us all through essential investment in local opportunities. At Build America Mutual, we maximize the safety and stability of municipal bond investments. That means a bright future for our communities and investors' portfolios. Learn more about the exceptional security of BAM-insured bonds 